A startling prediction today from the Centers for Disease Control. The agency says that there could be 1.4 million people with Ebola by the end of January. Mm -hmm. Greta Cruz is following these developments for us live from the newsroom tonight. Greta? That's right, Leanne, and that's just uh, 1.4 million let me rephrase that. That 1.4 million is just for two countries, Liberia and Sierra Leone, which just finished an unprecedented three-day national lockdown to try to get a handle on this deadly disease. During the dramatic three-day nationwide lockdown in Sierra Leone, health teams that went door to door found 130 new confirmed cases of Ebola. Very successful because uh, my medical team, my medical team is really working very hard. But even as the U.S. and other countries promise to bring doctors and build clinics, hospitals are still overwhelmed. Patients turned away. She ate my friend and said she can't eat nothing. To combat Ebola. West Africa is also launching major public awareness campaigns. To get the word out, we've got people going door to door all over the country, talking about the disease, talking about uh, how they can keep themselves safe. We've got uh, songs going on all the radio stations in all 60 languages. But cultural mistrust is proving to be as deadly as Ebola itself. In Guinea, eight members of a public awareness team, including journalists and health officials, were found murdered by villagers who believed the soap they were given was poison. They just say this um, delegation has come here to kill us, to bring out the virus. To, to lie about what happened in other places of uh, the forest region, and we have to kill them. They are attacked by the very people they are trying to help. Today, Guinea is mourning a new kind of Ebola victim. A group of doctors, journalists, and officials were killed, it is presumed, by villagers who wrongly thought they were responsible for spreading the disease. I said they are sea. As I speak now, seven bodies of those nine missing volunteers have been found. The government strongly condemns the murders of these Guinean citizens. The authorities here in Conakry have launched an investigation after some of the bodies were found dumped in a pit latrine to corpses showing injuries from clubs and machetes. What happened here? The healthcare team was in a remote village in Guinea trying to educate residents on the dangers of Ebola. Witnesses say they were greeted by the chief with open arms, but then some villagers began accusing the aid workers of lying about the Ebola virus, even accusing them of trying to bring the virus to the village to eliminate them. Witnesses say the aid workers were attacked by young people with rocks and machetes. Authorities got word of violence and tried to mount a rescue, but the villagers destroyed the bridges leading into the area. Eight people were killed, including the program director, doctors, and three journalists covering the outreach effort. Two members of the aid team are still missing, but some did manage to escape, and their accounts have led to several arrests, even accusing them of trying to bring the virus to the village to eliminate them.